Hey everyone, in today's tutorial, we'll show you how to make your digital photos look like analog film. Photos taken with analog cameras have a very unique look. We'll try to fake it using Pixelmator Pro, turning this digital photo into one that looks like this. Our inspiration for this tutorial was the Kodak Portra 400 film. The film is known for its warm vintage look, which looks great on portraits as well as travel and nature photography. We've already opened the photo we want to edit. If you'd like to follow along with us, you'll find a download link to it in the video description. To edit the photo non-destructively, create a color adjustments layer. In the layer sidebar, click the Add Layer button and choose Color Adjustments. Let's start by adjusting the overall temperature of the photo. In the white balance adjustment, drag the temperature slider to the right to make the photo warmer. We're going for a vintage look, so that looks great. We'll later add a magenta tint to just the highlights, so we now need to neutralize any existing magenta tint. Your photo might not have such a tint, but if it does, drag the tint slider to the left to neutralize the magenta with green. Now, to achieve a softer film look, soften the shadows and highlights. In the color adjustments pane, set the highlights to around minus 50 and the shadows to around 30. Usually, analog photos will look brighter than digital ones, so we'll increase the exposure and brightness of our digital photo. Type 60 for the exposure and 20 for the brightness. If you're working on a different photo, you'll need to use your own judgment here, but generally, try to aim for a bright look. At this stage, make sure that the overall temperature of the photo is warm and that the shadows and highlights are soft. We've already adjusted the contrast of the shadows and highlights using the shadows and highlights sliders, but now we also need to reduce their brightness. The simplest way to reduce the brightness of the shadows and highlights is by using the curves adjustment. Add two points to the tonal curve, one in the shadows and one in the highlights, by simply clicking the curve. Next, slightly drag each point down. Don't drag them too far to keep the changes subtle. By the way, if you want to learn more about this adjustment, we've also got a dedicated tutorial for it. Now, let's soften the brightest and darkest areas of the photo to create a faded look. Simply drag the black point up and the white point down. These changes are very subtle, but they're important for the final vintage film look. Next, let's turn on the fade adjustment. Set the blacks to 150 and the whites to 20. The image already looks more film-like, but if we're going for the Portra 400 look, there's still some color adjustments to make. This film has very unique reds, greens, and blues, so let's adjust the individual color ranges in our photo. Start by turning on the selective color adjustment. Here we can change the hue, saturation, and brightness of every individual color range. We'll start with the reds. There's almost no reds in our photo, but just in case yours has some, we'll show you how to adjust them. First, desaturate the reds and lower the brightness by dragging the sliders to the left. Next, we'll make the reds warmer. Drag the hue slider toward orange to get a warmer look. Now, in both the orange and yellow color ranges, drag the hue slider toward red to make these colors warmer. Let's move on to the greens. Here, we'll increase the saturation and brightness, and for the hue, we'll drag the slider toward cyan. We're not going for any specific values here, just check what looks best on your image. Now let's choose the cyans. Increase the saturation and lower the brightness. Next, drag the hue slider toward blue. Finally, choose the blue color range. Again, increase the saturation, lower the brightness, and drag the hue slider toward cyan. Now let's add some color tints to the shadows, midtones, and highlights. In the color balance adjustment, make sure that the three-way color wheels are selected. First, add a magenta tint to the highlights. To do that, drag the central point of the highlights wheel toward magenta. Next, let's add an orange tint to the midtones the same way, only this time using the midtones wheel. And finally, using the shadows wheel, add a cyan blue tint to the shadows. And again, do that by dragging the central point to somewhere in the middle of cyan and blue. Feel free to experiment with the color balance adjustment even more. It's a powerful tool for adjusting the balance of colors in your photos. Finally, turn on the grain adjustment. This film has quite fine grain, so we'll lower the default grain size and intensity.
And we're done. Let's compare the original photo with the final edit. To show the split comparison view, press the Ctrl C keyboard shortcut and then drag the slider on the canvas. And voila! That looks great, and we've completely changed the look of our original image. If you want to download the color adjustment preset we've created, you can find it in the video description along with the project files. While you're here, make sure to check out our other tutorials on using Pixelmator Pro for illustration, design, photography, and more. And as always, thanks for watching.